You might have heard about Power BI and the capabilities of uh, connecting your data uh, directly to the live data and generating amazing visuals and graphics and analytics. So with Power BI, you can really, with a click of a button, you can generate reports by connecting that to the data source. So we have a fantastic expert here, uh, Giancarlo uh, Duran Maika, who is going to share with you more about the process of Power BI and connecting uh, your dashboards and your reports to, um, to its source. So the question we have for you, Giancarlo, is what type of data sources, first of all, you can connect to and whether or not you can connect any data type, let's say you're from your Primavera P6 schedule, from your SAP, from other uh, software that you have, uh, can you really create that connection to to have a nice consolidated integrated report which is connected to your live data. Share us more about how this thing works and whether or not we can really have those connections to any data sources. Sure, sure. Um, and these are a really a good questions about Power BI and capabilities about how, how different tools it can connect with. And, and I think I have to say you guys that when you are using Power BI as a reporting tool, this kind of that, that, that dream place where you want to be in terms of how you integrate the different data sources you uh, deal with uh, in your day-to-day -day, uh, job. Because it, it's been so hard for project controllers so far that uh, uh, it's, it's been kind of traditionally, it's been that the case that we work at silos and we have the cost management and the cost control department working on their own. And then you have the scheduling, scheduling uh, department working on their side and they don't do not com communicate uh, among each other. So that's been hard to find a, a way how you can integrate those type of data sources. Uh, and Power BI has made that bridge of communication between the different departments in the project uh, when you want to report the project performance. There are so many data sources you can connect with Power BI and it, it, you, can, you can read through this uh, on Microsoft, uh, the, the documentation you have from Microsoft. It just here you can see on the Microsoft documentation uh, on the website, you can see how many different sources you can connect with. And Power BI Desktop has so many different types of data connectors. You just need to enter here on the, under the menu, get data, and you will find the different categories of data sources from databases for Power Platform, uh, even online services. And this is kind of bring a, bringing a lot of opportunities for us just to make a bridge between uh, the different departments we have in our project. So, uh, we can connect directly to uh, databases, and for that, we can use, for example, SQL uh, connections to Oracle P6 uh, database, or you can use a SAP, SAP HANA connector to just to uh, access your kind of cost uh, information in your project. So you can see here databases, data sources, you can find SAP, all the different SAP data connectors you, you want to connect with, and that's all made for you by default you don't need to do anything you don't you don't need to create anything any type of api to 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 get this through it's already there is for your for your use so this is what makes uh, your life really easy and i think that uh, for any any kind of a uh, project control tool you have uh, implemented in your company in your project you can find a way to connect that directly to, to our game. some of them obviously are going to be easier like for example, if you are dealing with P6, with Microsoft Project, they're already working on SQL databases. So they, they can have a direct connection to your Power BI. And so for, for, for some others that are web-based, for example, you can either have online services connector or you can create your own API if that is needed uh, be for, for that case. But essentially, most of the tools you are using will have a direct connection to Power BI. And that's kind of that the best part of it. Uh, some people were asking me uh, at some point that uh, what is the difference between Tableau and Power BI, yeah, you see? Uh, and the main difference I find, Tableau is really powerful in terms of visuals and, and the way you can visualize things within the, the user interface. 
but Power BI is such a has such a strength in terms of connection and the flexibility that it gives you to just use any type of tool uh, from your project and connect that directly to Power BI. So you can have as one single source through integrating costs, integrating a uh, schedule, but not, not only that, if you have another department like a, a health and security, you can connect that uh, data source. If you have human resources, you can connect that and you will uh, provide it this really one single source of truth where all the data sources merge into one report. Wow, that's fantastic. So the capabilities of connecting to every, pretty much every data source, that's a game changer to me at least. Uh, and I'm sure it is. Uh, so now it just the question that comes uh, with it is how do you really create that connection because with the typical project control software tools, you need to have the uniform WBS among different fields so that you can create that integration and things like that. Does it apply here with Power BI or do you need to have uh, universal WBS uh, for reporting to be able to consolidate and integrate data or just uh, tell us how really that um, process of connecting your data uh, would work in Power our BI Giancarlo. Yeah, uh, and as you know, guys, um, well, it's really important for project controls to have uh, a really good uh, and, and a strong um, database and, and the way you codify that is important for us because honestly, that's the only way you can really have uh, a communication between the different data sources. Like for example, if you are talking about costs, we are talking about estimates. The way you build up your estimate has to have some sort of Comp compatibility with your schedule or with your the way you're going to collect the cost and that's why uh, that, that good practices the best practices and, and recommended practices from AAC from PMI will tell you that you need to define your control account at certain level where you want to manage the information so uh, starting from that concept that you're gonna you have to do some work before that is defining your control accounts in a way that you can summarize the information how you collect the, the cost data and how you collect that data coming from the schedules and how that is linked to the budget. So all those steps are part of the project controls uh, world and are important definitely because if we are dealing with different data sources, you want to have them set up uh, for your project control supporting. And that's obviously one step uh, uh, before getting into Power BI. And when we are talking about Power BI, you're gonna leverage on that because if you have a, a, a good uh, strategy, how you already Co uh, connecting your different data sources from the different uh, aspects of the project. You, the, the steps you need to go through with Power BI are really simple. Basically, what you're going to start using on Power BI is the three components you find in, in, in Power BI. That The first one is going to be the Power Query. So the Power Query is just a really strong uh, component that it, it performs that data shaping. So even if you don't have this sort of kind of well-structured uh, data sources coming from the different uh, departments. You can do some uh, behind the scenes, you can do some transformations with Power BI, so you can uh, build the data in the way you need it to visualize it, and the way you need it to, uh, obviously to link the different tables, the different data sources all together. So if you, let's say, if you have failed to do the, the best practice in project controls and you haven't connected your different data sources and you're, you're working in silos. So then Power BI steps up and is gonna be your, your best opportunity to make that amendment within Power BI because you have you have the, the ability to transform the data behind the scenes. So if cost data is coming in a certain way, but it's not exactly as you need it. So you will need to transform that behind the scenes in, in, in using Power Query of Power BI. And, and for using that, you just need to go to that the top menu in Power BI, you just need to go to transform data bottom. And once you click on that one, you uh, this window will pop up. It's, it's just a window where you will be display all your tables and you can start applying steps. So you want to transform, you want to I know, transpose the table, you want to change that the that, that way that the columns are, or you just need to uh, uh, summarize the, 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 the data rows because they are not at the same level the schedule that data information is. So all that type of sort of transformation, you can do that with Power Query. The best part of this is that the apply steps, the apply transformation uh, that you have implement, they will get recorded 
behind the scenes for Power BI. So anytime someone sends you the updated version of the cost input, that will go through all the steps that are already defined behind the scenes of Power BI, and you will it won't need to do anything. You will just sit tight there and see how your data is working for you. And that's the amazing part of Power BI. And after you complete this uh, data shaping, uh, as you, you see fit, then you can start using the, the second component, that is the power pivot that you would use for data modeling. So this is the part where, where, where I was saying, so if you fail this uh, recommended practice and you haven't done this connection of your data sources, uh, outside uh, just because of it's part of project controls you can do that on a, a within power bi and data modeling will be something like this so you already brought together the different tables the different so this can be a data source from schedule this can be a data source from cost this can be a data source from human resources right so now it's time within power bi to connect those data and for that yes you're going to need some sort of a coding so I, I will need to find uh, some coding definition that will allow me to make sense between the schedule data and, and the cost data because there has to be a linking point and that's obviously comes with that with the best practices but it should be easy if you are just following a uh, good practice in project controls and finally comes the, the fun part right when you just start visualizing your data in a really high impact reports like this and this is a real example from my project that you uh, and me can work together if you think uh, you want to join our training great thank you so much for showing us the step-by-step -step process uh, on really how we can connect the data to power bi and uh, to me it's like formulating the process automating the process behind the scenes so when you're clicking the button everything is connected and everything is just generated so that's amazing thank you for sharing that Giancarlo. and for those of you who are interested in learning more on the step-by-step -step process on really how to connect your data, different data from P6 or cost or to generate these dashboards and really save time in generating the reports and automating your project reporting cycle. We have good news for you. We have developed the most comprehensive step-by-step -step guide uh, on Power BI, Visual Data Analytics for Project Controls that you can uh, be part of. Just uh, the link to get more information is on this video. Make sure you check it out. And if you're interested, join us in this training. We cannot to serve you on this. So thank you so much again, Giancarlo, for this insightful um, presentation and um, the information you provided on connecting different data sources to Power BI. That was amazing. Thank you.